And also this is the Coursera Lynx 120, comes in a great great condition. The battery uses this 2CR2 battery right here, okay. And this camera is actually a very nice unit I would say. It's not that popular but it's um, actually a very very powerful camera. So um, the lens is so good as well, the bang is so good. This is where I turn it on, okay. So just put it to the green button right here and it will be turned on now. And there's many moods around here to play with as well. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off first. By the way, the front lens is all good as well. Okay, so right now, first thing first, we have to insert the film by placing it at the back right here. Okay, afterwards, just close the cap. You should see that the film counter goes to number one right here, and this is the date settings. You can change it on your own. Okay, and this one you can change the flash and everything. This is the turn on button right here. This is the fully automatic glass, so you can just um, press the shutter whenever you want to. Hold on, I'll show you outside the light box the viewfinder as well. So, this is what you're going to see from the viewfinder. And there's two LED right here. The yellow stands for the autofocus and the red one stands for the flash. So when you're shooting something right, if you see that the red light is blinking, means that the flash is still charging. And same for the autofocus as well. If the autofocus light is blinking, means that the autofocus isn't ready yet. And then you can see that the LCD back here is also, um, it also lights up in a darker situation. And also on top as well. You can see that it lights up the solar. This one is the spot focusing mode, this one is the night portrait, this one is the landscape mode, this one is for sports mode, lah. so um, you shoot moving subject with this mode. And also this one is the macro mode, so when you are shooting something very near, you just use this mode. Lah. And then you can see that it zooms very, it zooms in, lah. okay. And then usually you just put it as auto mode, lah, which is the green one. Make sure you zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in, yeah, sorry, zoom out. So yeah, basically that's it. And this is the panorama mode right here. You can see that it changes now. And there is settings here you can play with as well. This is the, for the flash. This is no flash. This one is the film flash and this one is the auto flash. And this one is the auto flash with radar reduction. This one is the self timer. So for the soft timer, after you press radio, it starts to count down for 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to Okay, so this is for the soft timer. And this is for the continuous shot. So yeah, basically that's it. Lah. And after you use finish radio, it starts to run by itself. But right now, I'm just going to show the false rewind to show if the rewind is still working as well. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to stop. If it shows zero like this and blinking, then you can just go ahead and take the film out. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you.